<laughs> Alright you guys, so we have been doing this incredible boat rivet Alright you guys, so we have been doing this incredible boat tier to <laughs> Alright you guys, so we have been doing what? <laughs> <laughs> guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box with Matt behind the camera and today we are in Costa Rica because we are doing an incredible 15 day tour with the guys at Intrepid Travel and we are kicking things off right here in the capital city, San Jose. To help you travel well, we are going to be sharing all of our experiences and travel tips along the way you guys now if you don't already be sure to subscribe and say hello in the comments below now this is our first day here in San Jose and we weren't really sure how to get into the city so we thought we'd take advantage of a little something called an urban adventure which is a tour offered by Intrepid Travel it is just a couple of hours with a great guide and I want to introduce you to ours this is Ellie. He is going to be showing us around. Hi guys, <laughs> my name is Ellie. Welcome to Costa Rica. I'm a tourist guy from Woodman Adventure San Jose. So enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe, okay? Okay, this tour is very, very important for us because we're going to show you the real face of San Jose. We're going to see how the street looks like, where the people go to buy the produce, fruits and vegetables every single day. Oh, I'm excited. So guys, you want to try coffee? Yes! With sugar, no sugar, black, with milk. Black. black without sugar for you. And this is with milk for you. You think I'm going to burn my tongue on YouTube forever for the world to see? Okay, this is my first try of Costa Rican coffee. It smells really good. I've gone straight up black, no sugar, no milk, no messing around. Oh, that is good. That's really good. This is the Market Bourbon since 1950. But before it be the Central Market, it was just a land, a big land. And all the people, all the farmers, they came here and they sell their produce and vegetables in Oxcar. You know what is Oxcar? Yeah, yeah. But the owner of this place, they were from Salvador. They decided to come back to Salvador and they sell this area. Yes. So what happened with the farmers, with the poor people, they decide to work together and by this place all the people there are families, they are the 30 or 4 generation of families working and it's so all. It's like go back to the past and see the old Costa Rica. This is Pocote, the little brother of mango. So Ellie was just saying that with the colored skin they're sweet and with the green skin they're more bitter, more sour. So apparently you eat this skin and all. All the skin. You're not just winding me up. I'm not going to eat it and then have a bad time. No. Don't worry. I think he's being serious. <laughs> Oh! It's not too sweet, not too bitter. It's like a combination of flavor, right? It's weird! And the texture is weird. It's kind of um, pretty dry almost, like, but still somehow juicy. I, I can't even describe that. I've never tasted anything like that. Do I like it? I'm not mad at it. And this is, of course, a passion for it. They are not original from Costa Rica. They grew up here. But they are not from Costa Rica. Is it look weird? It looks weird, like an so alien weird. egg. Yeah, but the taste is totally different. All right. Swallow. Mm. What do you think? It tastes very different to the ones at home. This flavor is not as strong. Yeah. Sometimes they're very acidic at home. That's like a very mild, mellow, but still gently sweet flavor. At home, they'll blow your face off. We are on the Big Addiction, one of the first bar, the first cantina in Costa Rica since 1884. La mejor cerveza de Costa Rica, la tradicional imperial. Gusto grande para gente grande. <laughs> it's a phrase like, uh, good flavor for good people. <laughs> have one like that so colorful that means that you had a lot of money well, it's 
so cute. Yeah, it's a good representation. I will totally. Yeah. You like that one? All right. Well, I think we have to go with the one that Ellie likes, right? They have only with cheese, cheese and beans, pork, chicken and meat. So, you want a cheese and beans? We are digging into our first real experience of local food with these delicious empanadas. Now, Ellie has brought us here as part of our tour and he said these are his favorite food. I've had empanadas before, but they didn't look like this. They were kind of smaller. These are really big and we've got ours with beans. They look incredible. Is this like a chili sauce? Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's not too hot. Not too hot. Well, you know we like things spicy on the box, <coughs> so let's get that on there. Let's hope it's not too spicy. Ooh, that looks so good. So the pastry is really crunchy and beautiful on the outside, and then inside it's fluffy. And then the flavor of the beans is so strong. It's got like a refried bean flavor. If you love refried beans, you will love this. That's amazing. And the chili sauce is perfect, not too spicy, just a really nice light burn on the lips. Yum. <laughs> so guys, this is the Lolo Mora Market. This is the first eye cream shop since 1901. They have been working here around 112 years. So they sell the best ice cream ever in Costa Rica. That's an obligation. If you come here, you have to stop here. Can do. All right, let's try this bad boy. No, I like it. <laughs> it's so good. It's like really got a strong, not strong, but a good spice flavor from all those spices. And I'm not a big spice eater. It's really good. This only spices. Mm. It's only only spices. It's made only here since night kill man in this place. There are no addresses in Costa Rica. Let's just let that sink in for a moment. No addresses. So we were asking um, the person who gave us a transfer uh, how do you tell somebody where you live? And he's like, oh, well, you kind of just say I'm 300 meters from the bakery, turn left, and then 400 meters from the street. Is that right, Ellie? Totally. Yeah. Totally. So they just don't have any kind of address. No. And to get your post, you come down here, right? Yeah, actually. We don't have a street name. So if you ask for some direction, it's like you are going to get lost. Where I live, my direction is I live from the Gripualto High School near to the Mango Street behind the yellow house. That's my direction. Actually, I always have problems when I need to go to uh, some place for the first time. Yeah. Because if I ask you for direction, you give me one direction. Yeah. And I get lost. If I ask you for direction, I'm going to get lost. If I ask for five people, they are going to give me five different directions. What do you do if you want to get like Pizza Hut delivered? Uh, you have to find the name of the, of the place, you know, Pizza Hut. Uh, Paseo Colón, yeah. Pizza Hut, uh, La Uruca, and you already know, but it's totally complicated, <laughs> totally complicated. I couldn't survive, I need my pizza to live it. <laughs> making the hot chocolate and now we're going to enjoy it I'm just waiting for it to cool so I don't burn my tongue and we also have tamales and they have got a meat-free option for us so I have seen tamales before on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy <laughs> this lady made them and they looked absolutely delicious cooked in a banana leaf we have got some beautiful beans there which is sticking to my finger and corn simple but it smells amazing I've never tried these before Let's dig in. Okay, kind of a solid. It's giving me Thailand vibes. Oh, I like that. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Great flavor in the beans. Really, like I feel like if I ate that, that would be enough. 
So when it comes to getting around, by far the best way to do it is going to be with Uber. And that is something that we thought before we got here, but confirmed with Ellie, our lovely guide from today. If you don't have a SIM card, you can pick one up from the airport. They should cost you around four US dollars, which is great value. We didn't realize we could get one at the airport, so that is something that we haven't done, and now we're kicking ourselves. So this is, of course, our first time in Central America and Costa Rica. And we were a little bit intimidated. We didn't really know what to expect. Expect. So doing that urban adventure was just the perfect way to get things started. It took all of the guesswork out of it for us. Now let's talk a little bit about safety because that was another thing that we were a bit intimidated by and unsure of what it would be like here. And it has been no problems whatsoever. And that is because we followed some basic safety rules. When we met up with Ellie, he said to us, look, it does happen. People do have bags ripped off them or taken from them. They do get pickpocketed. And I think from what Ellie said, that can really be attributed to not really paying attention to your belongings. So today, per Ellie's advice, I didn't wear any jewelry to attract attention to myself or make myself more of a target. I kept my bag to the front at all times. I had the um, strap attached to my camera and I wrapped that around my wrist multiple times, always holding onto my bag and both Matt and I just being vigilant and keeping an eye out for each other. And we had no problems whatsoever. All right, you guys, so we just had our welcome meeting with everybody, our amazing tour guide Edgar who you guys are going to get to meet throughout this video series he took us through all of our briefing information let us know what we need to know for the next couple of days and what we've got coming up you've all gone quiet in the background <laughs> we are getting on a boat this is like a journey today we are so avid and so you know what we are intrepid <laughs> So we've got some welcome drinks. That boat ride was awesome, so much fun. We've already spotted wildlife. Crocodiles, otters, a sloth, a spider monkey, and loads of birds, you guys. But now we're gonna go check into our hotel and check out our room. We have just caught the boat over here to the village, which is only about five minutes boat ride from where we're staying at the Bula Lodge. I'm gonna go through the town now, have a bit of a look, hopefully try some local snacks, have a couple of drinks, have a group dinner, and just enjoy local life. Where San Jose was kind of really built up and had that big city feel. Here we've got more of that village community life. Everyone is smiling, laughing, waving hello. There's plenty of street food, great beachfront bars. We just headed over to the beach on that side. It just has such a welcoming, friendly atmosphere to it. So our amazing guide, Eddie, gave us the hot tip that this place, Buddha Cafe or Buddha Cafe, is the best spot to come for a cold drink along the waterfront. So let's go in and get one. Bueno, sí, aquí estamos en Barra del Tortuguero, Cariari, Pocosí, Limón de la República de Costa Rica. Aquí vamos a hacer un coco loco para estos amigos que los visitan. Bien, el coco loco consiste en, le echamos ron, ron rico. Y le vamos a echar como saborizante un poquito de piña. Oh yes, so this is coconut water as you saw, a generous dash of rum and some fresh pineapple juice. Let's try. Oh, and it was 3,000 Costa Rican colones, so around about $5. We just had the most delicious dinner here at Donde Richard and that means Richard's place just in case you didn't know because I didn't. That is run by a lovely husband and wife of course, the man Richard and his lovely wife. The service was amazing you guys, the food was absolutely delicious, they had some Caribbean flavours in there. Matt and I tucked into fajitas and it was so good to feel like we were really part of the local community. Perfect end for today. But for now we are going to go and catch the taxi boat back to our hotel and get some rest. So I will see you in the morning. Nos advirtió que extrañar es el costo del amor. 
cannot believe we are in the Costa Rican jungle right now. This is so beautiful. It is all things humid and lush and green and tropical. It has been pouring down rain. So we've got ponchos and galoshes or wellingtons or gumboots, whatever you call them on. And it has been so much fun, you guys. We've spotted some great wildlife, this big rodent looking thing, a toucan, a woodpecker. We saw a baby turtle. We were even joined by this beautiful little puppy. He was walking along at the front next to our tour guide, Eddie. So we've named him Eddie Jr. But this has definitely been a highlight experience for me. It just has suddenly hit me that we are in Costa Rica. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam from New York. Hey, I'm Dara. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. <laughs> I am Jenny. I'm from Western Australia. We're best friends. We met 17 years ago on an intrepid trip in Vietnam and we've been traveling together ever since. Hello, I'm Dick. I'm from Canada. Hi, I'm Lise and I'm from Canada. <laughs> We were trying to decide where to go for lunch and there are a few different restaurants around the place but we wanted to do something a little bit more local and a little bit more, I don't know, authentic, a little bit rough and ready, you know. So we saw this great little roadside spot and I asked, do you do empanadas? And the locals were like, heck yes we do. Sit down. They made us feel so welcome. So we have got these delicious empanadas. These are 1,000 um, colones each. Very, very cheap. They are full of rice and pinto beans. Let me cut this open for you so you can see. The lady who made them is absolutely beautiful. You can just tell she's been making these for years. Oh, yum. Now I'm sure they have different fillings if you are a meat eater. To go with it, you could get a Coco Loco, which is the fresh coconut cut open, rum, pineapple inside. But we have gone for some mango and pineapple smoothies, you guys. And again, these are really cheap and everybody is so lovely. But I will say this, Matt and I ordered rum. <laughs> we just had ordered rice and beans. So lucky for us, our tour guide Eddie was coming past. I was like, could you just check I've ordered the right thing? Because I have a feeling I didn't get it across. Um, and he checked for me. So that's just another benefit of having a guide if you don't speak Spanish. And I feel a bit ignorant. I wish I did speak Spanish. It would make it so much easier. But for now, we've got what we wanted. We're going to tuck in and give this a try. Oh, yum. Mmm. Bueno. <laughs> So we have been doing this incredible boat tour out here in the canals and it has blown me away. This morning we did our walk through the jungle and it was awesome. We were spotting some great animals, but this has gone above and beyond. And Eddie's going to tell you some of the animals we've seen today. Yeah, actually we've, we've been very, very lucky. We've seen lots of animals. We've seen uh, white-faced monkeys, spider monkeys, uh, howler monkeys. Uh, we've seen uh, three toed sloth, uh, Jesus Christ lizards. We've seen lots of different kind of birds like egrets, herons, jacanas, uh, caimans. <laughs> we've seen caimans. So yeah, actually we've been very, very lucky. We just saw like uh, two pairs of uh, green macaws. Uh, just going by so it was uh, also something very special yeah it's mm -hmm. unbelievable it's like you're almost on a really really cool theme park ride except it's way better because it's real life so this is absolutely unbelievable and something you should definitely do once in your life good morning you guys so we are waking up in the Totoguero National Park but we are on a boat getting out of here because we are getting ready for another action-packed adventure fueled fun driven day in Costa Rica as promised 
breakfast and he has brought us to this fantastic fruit stall. It's located alongside this really busy main road and it's run by a lovely family. It is all women in here and they are taking amazing care of us. So they've laid out this incredible spread of tropical fruits and local bites and goodies for us to try and it is an amazing way to really connect with the local produce and try some things you probably haven't tried before. So this is a soursop. It looks kind of um, interesting. <laughs> it's not the prettiest of fruit. <laughs> that is good. Opening it is a little difficult, but then inside looks like a little soft egg. And it is delicious. <laughs> That's delicious. What is it? I have no idea. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you so much for having us in your homes. We're so, so happy to be here and spend this time with you. We have arrived in Santa Rosa and we are having a really special experience here because we're doing a home stay. We arrived at our home stay house and our lovely host Francisco and her family and all of their pets were there to meet us. We'll show you guys where we're staying a little bit later. But for now we're doing this amazing farm tour with one of the locals who's telling us all about the area and how it got started. And it really started from nothing. They have built this up and really they thrive on tourists coming to visit, doing these cultural experiences, doing the farm tours and inviting you into their lives. So these little seeds are full of color and I'm gonna paint Matt like a sexy cat. <laughs> yeah, you look beautiful! There you go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't that something? The pineapple yeah. king! Yes, ah. pineapple king, all right. Let's name it Wilson. Love oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big pineapple. have cooked us this incredible feast. We have got some empanadas here which we actually helped make as part of our cooking class. Rice homemade tortillas. This beautiful vegetable lentil soupy stew kind of business. Oh my goodness. We've got beers. We've got a pineapple headed kind of a mascot behind us. We made that. I don't know why. I have the feeling tonight it's going to be wild. There's some local moonshine going around. Let's give this a try. Yeah, that's so good. It's really flavorsome. Lots of good herbs in there. Absolutely beautiful. Lentils, yum. Delicious. Delicioso! Gracias! We are waking up here at our homestay. Isn't this place so cool? Now our, our homestay mother, Francisca, she's made us feel so welcome this morning. She cooked the most delicious breakfast. Her whole family have been so welcoming to us. And it's just been the loveliest way to get today started. 
But now we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna head up to El Rancho because we have some fun cultural activities to take part in this morning. After all those great cultural activities, the soap making, the arts and crafts, the dancing, they have cooked up this incredible lunch for us and while they're in there cooking, they're all dancing and laughing and talking. It's such a great community feel, I love it here. But they have made us this feast for lunch. Now the really cool thing about this is that all of the fresh ingredients are growing right here on the farm. So obviously they buy the rice and beans, but everything else is local. They grow the fruit for the juice. Come and see, hola. come and see, hola. And they are so inclusive. Everybody comes and sits with us. We're talking through Google Translate. It's really, really lovely. Now I will link below for you in the description the exact details of our tour so you can check it out. But Intrepid have a whole range of tours through Costa Rica. We really wanted to do this one because it's 15 days and it's around the whole country. So we're gonna to get to see a lot of different things, which is really exciting. And with that, that brings this video to a close. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say hola in the comments below. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Love ya.